Hello there, peoples. Sorry, I have not done a video at all last week. I had things going on. I was preparing for my birthday and stuff, so I kind of was focused on that. So, yeah. And sorry it's a little bit of a late of a raw review. <clears throat> but, um, so tonight's show was pretty good, I thought. I thought it was solid. You know, you learn about Daniel Bryan has to retire. It sucks. So the show starts off with uh, Stephanie McMahon announcing that there will be a, con a contract signing at the beginning of the show. And then Dean Ambrose calls out. Dean Ambrose comes out and he's basically pissed off at Lesnar. He says he wants to fight because he pretty much wants to... Because Amber Lesnar F5'd him last week. So Stephanie, then Roman Reigns comes out, then Le Lesnar comes out. Ambrose signs the contract. Pretty much Reigns and Lesnar, they both sign. All three of them sign the contract. Then Stephanie leaves, and then bam, it's a brawl. Lesnar throws the table at Roman, and then Lesnar F5s Ambrose, and then Triple H comes out, and I guess to look out and see who's going to challenge him. So that's all really that was. Then. Hold on. I, I, I think this main event will be good. I am, I'm... Okay. Ugh, this match again. Kevin Owens versus Dolph Ziggler for, like, the millionth time. How many times are these guys gonna have matches? Like, like can we stop having the same matches? Uh, Ziggler wins with the... I guess he rolls... Uh, Owens up and then puts his foot on the ropes, which makes no sense. Ziggler's a babyface. Why is he cheating? Uh, that makes no sense. Whatever. Then we have Usos talking with the Dudleys, and I guess they're going to have a tables match with the New Day. So I guess, yeah, I guess, whatever. Then we have Charlotte versus Alicia Fox. It was a short match. Charlotte wins. So I'm guessing she's fighting Brie. And you know why. Because of Total Divas. And I guess Daniel Bryan just retired. So they want to make Brie look good. And I think also because her sister got surgery. So they want to... But Charlotte wins the match. Then we have Miz on... Doing Miz TV, I guess. Because Jericho... He interviews Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho... Oh, What the fuck? Uncensored and contains adult language. The views and opinions on this program do not represent those of Lords of Pain.net or any of its advertisements. Sorry about that. That was a malfunction. Um, okay. So, Jericho, um, pretty much makes fun of The Miz and then he makes, he changes the ring from Miz TV to the highlight reel. Then AJ Styles comes out, Miz attacks Jericho. They both, Jericho and Styles, beat down on The Miz. Then, um, because apparently this Thursday night on SmackDown, they're going to have a rematch from their match a few weeks ago. And then they brawl. Jericho and um, Styles start each other. Then they brawl for a little bit. Then Miz attacks Jericho again, and Jericho dumps him over the announce table. Okay. Then we have random match. Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar. I mean... Ryback, sorry. Ryback looks like Goldberg now. And Bray Wyatt won. And then the Wyatts beat him down. Okay. Why isn't Lesnar going after the Wyatts? They cost him the Royal Rumble. Are they? Is Does the, the Lesnar just forget about that? Hold on. Yeah, that was my question. Did Lesnar just forget that the Wyatts cost him the Rumble? Uh, is he just going to ignore that? I get he's focusing on his title match. I mean, his number one contendership match, but shouldn't he be a little bit mad at the Wyatt's cost him the Rumble? But whatever. Reigns and Ambrose talk backstage. Then we have random Titus O'Neil versus Adam Rose. Adam Rose wins by cheating, by roll-up. 
whatever, I skipped this match. Then we see Ambrose going to the ring, and he basically calls out Brock Lesnar. Lesnar comes out, F5 Ambrose, and then Lesnar comes back, tries to attack Ambrose, and then Reigns comes out, distracts Lesnar, and then Ambrose low blows Lesnar. It was kind of cool to see them brawl for a little bit. It was pretty cool to see them brawl for a little bit, to be honest. That was actually a cool segment. Their little interactions they had the last few weeks was pretty sick. So, then we have Lucha Dragons versus Del Rio and Rusev. Who cares? Del Rio and Rusev win. Then we have Becky Lynch versus Tamina. Tamina wins, whatever. And I guess their partner is Mark Henry. New Day and Mark Henry will take on the Dudleys and uh, the Usos. And then uh, Mark Henry walks out and I guess the Usos and the Dudleys win and the Dudleys turn heel after the match. Which is cool. They do the 3D on one of them, and then, and then, on the other, they do um, bubble bomb, power bomb. So I'm guessing they're heels now, but oh, Brian comes out and addresses about his retirement. He brings up his dad. He brings up what he's been doing his whole career, and it sucks. You know, and it's. And then he does the yes chant one more, one more time. So it sucks, you know, Daniel Bryan retiring. Overall, Raw was good. Daniel Bryan's retirement, it's sad. And yes, thank you for the memories, Daniel. Never was the biggest Daniel Bryan fan, but it was a heartfelt moment, you know. And I think it was probably the best move. So I mean, how many times is he going to get injured? So, so... Yeah, guys, um, that's my Raw review. Tomorrow, I will be doing a video about how I would personally change certain things in Force Awakens. But other than that, guys, I'm going to sign off here. Peace.